Thank you. In the wake of yesterday's mass shooting, some were quick to point the finger at the businesses at the troubled Edmondson Village Shopping Center for selling to students and minors during the school day. Some are questioning how the students were able to leave school grounds in the middle of the day. Fox 45's Amy Simpson takes a closer look. No students inside Edmondson Westside High School today. With classes canceled a day after yesterday's deadly mass shooting at the shopping center across the street. Five students were shot. One of them, a 16 year old, died from his injuries. Yesterday afternoon, both the police commissioner, students at Edmondson West Side High School, which is right across the street, and were in this area on their lunch break, and the neighborhood's city councilman. We're just coming up here on their lunch break. Um, it's heartbreaking. Said the high schoolers were at the shopping center during lunch hour. Today, Fox 45 News questioned Baltimore City Schools on the policy for students leaving campus during the school day and whose responsibility it is to enforce those rules. In a lengthy statement this afternoon, the district said it's a system wide requirement for students to stay on campus during school hours. A rule that schools proactively communicate to families and students. Most recently, a reminder going out to Edmondson High School in December. And while city schools said it's the school administration's responsibility to enforce the rules, the district relies on the surrounding community for protection and support. But as the investigation was just getting underway into who fired the guns outside of Popeyes and why, Mayor Brandon Scott pointed to the fast food restaurant for its role in the ordeal. This Popeyes has been cited before for selling to minors and students during the daytime. The mayor's office did not answer questions today about that city ordinance or when this Popeyes was cited. But Fox 45 News found this Baltimore police ordinance which dictates a daytime curfew for minors, saying no minor under the age of 16 may remain in or about any public establishment between 7.30 and 3 on any day which the minor is required to be in school. This is something that shouldn't happen because those young people wouldn't be here if they knew they couldn't buy something from this place. On the front door of that Edmondson Village Popeyes today, reads this sign, no students will be allowed to purchase nor consume between the hours of 8 and 3. And in a statement today, Popeye said, we closely work with local officials and respect their wishes to not serve students during the school day. The fast food chain went on to say no one from Popeye's was involved in the shooting, but they closed for the day Wednesday, allowing staff to go home after the tragic events in the parking lot outside. And while some blame Popeye's, others in the community disagree. So those children come from the shopping center, from the school, over to the shopping center. They're not even inside of Popeyes. They sitting on the wall of Popeyes. Popeyes can't control that. This woman pointing to Baltimore City Schools for those students leaving campus. It should be somebody in the shopping center and it should be somebody on the corner that's that's controlling what's going on. They could they can do better and they could do more. So don't blame the, the, the shopping center. Amy Simpson, Fox 45 News.